Welcome to another episode of DSLR Video Shooter. Today I want to talk about Cinema 4K versus 4K or UHD. And this is a question that a lot of people have asked me about the GH4. So I'm going to take an excerpt from the GH4 guide that I just finished. And in it, we're going to talk about the differences between the two, why you should lean toward one or the other. Let's go ahead and take a quick look. Cinema 4K, which is a little C, and then 4K, and then we also have 4K, which is really UHD or Ultra HD. Now, this can be kind of confusing, and a lot of people just go for the Cinema 4K because it sounds good. Cinema 4K, it has more resolution and it has true 24. And uh, there's some problems with this though, and I want to get into that and talk about the differences between the two. To start, we need to talk about aspect ratio. Each of these settings has a different aspect ratio. So most of us are used to 16 by 9, which is what you would get when you film 1080p. Now UHD or Ultra HD is essentially two times the size of HD, and it's a perfect scale. So you can take a 1080p image and you can take a UHD image and scale one down or one up, and they will perfectly overlay with each other. Cinema 4K is a little different. It's actually wider than 1080p or 16 by nine. So you actually have a different aspect ratio. So 1080p and UHD both share 16 by nine as their aspect ratio. Cinema 4K on the other hand has 19 by 10. So, you know, a lot of you might be saying, so what, big deal, it's not that really much of a deal breaker. The problem comes when you try to mix cameras or mix different aspect ratios. You have to crop and or scale one of your sources. So it can get kind of weird and you, you lose the edge or you lose that lit resolution if you have to kind of bring the two together. So if I was shooting HD or UHD or Cinema 4K, it would be kind of a bear to get that all to match. So that's one thing is you don't have the same aspect ratio. Another problem is the frame rate. So Cinema 4K uses a perfect pure 24 frames per second. Whereas most of us and almost all other cameras are used to shooting 24 frames per second, but it's actually 23.98. The problem comes when you try to mix the two and you can get some strange artifacts and have to deal with lots of conversions. Your timing might fall apart. It can be kind of a mess. So, you know, that can be a problem if you're mixing multiple sources. So if you're shooting on something like a C100 and a GH4 and you try to mix those together, one is, you know, 1080 and the other is Cinema 4K, you're gonna have a, you know, the 24 versus 23.98, and it's not really gonna mix terribly well. So that's something you really need to keep in mind when choosing one of these options. Another difference is obviously the actual resolution. Cinema 4K is 4096 by 2160 versus UHD, so they're a little different. Obviously, you're gonna get a little more resolution with the Cinema 4K, but, you know, it's not really that big of a deal to me personally. And we'll talk about which you should choose depending on your project. But for the most part, I like to stick with UHD because sometimes I'm mixing in a C100 or another camera or I need to output, you know, or mix graphics that are all 1080p. And using UHD is nice because my aspect ratio and almost all the frame rates, 2398, match perfectly with the other content that I shoot. Okay, so those are the big differences between the two. Now, how do you choose? I usually mix some different cameras or I want the option to mix different cameras. And so I like to shoot everything at UHD. Everything I publish is in a 69 aspect ratio. So I like to stay with that aspect ratio and I don't want to scale up my Cinema 4K to crop off those long edges. So for that reason, I stick with UHD. Now, if you're planning on shooting everything with nothing but the GH4 or with nothing but cameras that shoot true 4K at true 24 frames per second, it doesn't matter. You can shoot at Cinema 4K. Um, and since most of us are publishing to the web, it really doesn't matter with aspect ratios. So we don't need to bother with, you know, broadcast, which is not going to have that larger aspect ratio. We're fine with anything. You can upload anything to YouTube or Vimeo and uh, control the aspect ratio. So again, if you are, if your entire scope of your project can be at 24 true frames per second and keep that aspect ratio, then go for it, shoot Cinema 4K. 
But for me, since I'm working with so many different people, different cameras and different outputs, I like to stick with UHD. So I hope that didn't bore you guys and you stuck with me. So that is cinema 4K versus 4K and 4K versus 1080. So at this point, we know what resolutions we want, frame rates we want, we know how to get our camera ready and what we should take care of before each of our shoots. Now it's time to jump into some other settings and we're going to start with photo style. So that is the difference between cinema 4K and UHD and the reason that I usually use UHD. And it's kind of good news because a lot of cameras actually don't have cinema 4K. Most of Sony's cheaper cameras that do shoot 4K don't allow us to shoot in cinema 4K. So definitely an interesting topic. If you enjoyed this video, definitely check out the rest of the GH4 guide. I'll have a link at the bottom of the screen. In the guide, you'll find much, much more. This is just a tiny section of the massive chapter on filming, which is chapter two in the guide. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.